It's the morning of July 16th, 1969. Launch day. In a few hours, the astronauts will begin their four-day journey to the moon. And there was the Saturn lighted on the launch pad. And it is in the middle of this black ocean. Oh, God. <laughs> what, a, what, what an excitement. It was a beautiful day. God, it was beautiful. It was just, everything was perfect. The swing arm now coming back as our countdown continues. In the days before 24-hour news, all the networks clear the schedules to carry the launch live. T-minus 25 seconds. That rocket was big. <laughs> I mean, there's no way that rocket gets off the ground. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. There was a, just a, a huge, huge flash and a fantastic noise, almost like a bomb going off. Wow, shattering. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Away from the crowds, Neil Armstrong's family watches the launch from a specially chartered boat. We're sort of off to the right. Um, and what this meant was that all the exhaust uh, came our way. And, you know, this, this buffeting of air against your chest is just, it's like nothing, you know, I've ever felt since. And you say, how is that standing straight up? I mean, it's barely moving. I mean, it's inching, and it's inching, and it's inching. Inside, three men risking their lives to fulfill the dream of centuries. When the rocket goes up, it's very stately, no deviation of path. Inside, it doesn't feel that way at all. The engines down below you are swiveling to keep it in balance, and so you're feeling little sideways jerks. And suddenly, I don't know, it, it, it overcomes gravity and a swoosh. The Saturn V rocket blasts Apollo 11 out of Earth's atmosphere. Just 12 minutes later, they're in orbit, and our greatest adventure begins. <laughs> 